How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Enrique CTV and today we're watching episode 15 Smells Like Trouble of Freyren. It's been pretty sweet to see kind of everyone's relationships grow over the last couple episodes, especially with a new party member. I mean, it's going to be fun to see him grow along with everybody else and learn from maybe his mistakes, his own memories, kind of how Freyren and Fern and Stark already do when we get those flashbacks of them every, every episode or so. But last episode was very sweet because you kind kind of got two adults looking into the lives of Stark and Fern and kind of how they maneuver a relationship, whether it be a intimate relationship or just friends. It's kind of funny to see them work that out together, but also we have now the flashback of Himmel and Freyren, which just really hurts because it makes you feel even worse for Himmel because even though he did all these great things, there may have been a chance that he really just wanted to be with Freyren and she didn't get that clearly and she just went off for 50 years never came back and he, what is he supposed to do <laughs> it puts things into perspective again how her story is and how her perception of time is but at the same time makes you see this incredible hero and just realize like maybe he just wanted to like relax and have a good time with the girl he potentially he clearly loved what am i saying potentially he fucking gave her the ring on her on his knees so i mean like it, it, it's it's layered it's a layered thing but that being said let's hop into the next episode 29 years after the death in the Laub Hills. Still in the Northern Lands, obviously. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fern's pulling a Freyren. Rose knocking the fuck out. It's been four whole years with Freyren. And a year for him. Goddamn. Wow. This party lacks party. That's what we need to have a, a fun time. <laughs> we need a rogue. <laughs> Let's go more men. Dude, it's so funny that she always gets caught on him. <laughs> he got so serious for that. Oh, maybe we need an older sexy lady thief. That's what we need. We need, like, female Astarian to join up. That's what we need. Maybe it's just me, but it's oddly quiet. Yeah, okay, it wasn't just me. Normally we get, like, bustle and, you know, hustle, bustle of stuff. Stuff's happening. Nothing's happening here. This is exciting, fuck yeah. Ah, she said the thing already. Come on, it's been like three minutes. She already said the thing. <laughs> yeah, this is our first time experiencing a curse in this show, too. Which is sweet. Yeah, like petrification or something like that. Okay, cool. So they don't they still don't know how this works. Interesting. Something we don't get. Okay, I figured a priest, a cleric, would be able to, you know, use restoration or something like that to take care of it. Especially someone like him, he's been able to do it pretty easily. Oh. We don't get it. Okay. It's just by pure faith. That's cool. It's cool that they don't look into it, really. They're just like, they just do it. <laughs> Yeah, no. That's crazy. Even she can't detect it. She's just got to deal with it or hope for the best. Uh oh, it's already happening. <laughs> it's already happening. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. We need components. We need things to fix this. Look around. Oh, it is a monster. Okay, cool. Can we kill the monster and it just lifts? Wow. That, with his ability, why would you say that, bro? That's like, he's pretty strong, I think. So, like, that's kind of crazy that it's that strong of a curse, it seems. They're just, <laughs> they just gotta carry him everywhere. Oh my god, no. Oh, shit. I would imagine she was already sleepy. 
But maybe... Oh, that's not good. They're both just asleep. Hopefully Freyran doesn't get caught now too, because she is susceptible. Come on, stay awake, bro. No, 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 dude, you can't go to sleep. No, wake her up. We can't do anything with five seconds. Have you seen this girl? Of course we can do something for five seconds. That's all she needs, bro. I think she knew. She understood the, the project, bro. She understood the assignment. No, you gotta, don't leave her here, dude. You got to take her with her, with you, with you. You got to take her with you. If you hide her, it's going to be bad. What the fuck is that? Ooh, ooh. That thing is huge and that thing is fucking gross. Yo, at least we get to see my boy in action now. Come on. Do some shit. You got battle magic too, you said. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. So it deflects a little bit more like a mirror, like you were saying. It's it's bouncing right off, dude. Let's see how fast you can move. Come on, buddy. You should absolutely wake up Freyren. She, she could blow up the whole town. Is she that strong, though, where it negates it? She could just burst through it. Unless she can cast slow. She can slow time down really quick. That would give her more than five seconds. Oh, my God. I love we're always getting these flashbacks. And now he's getting it. Now we get to see it from someone else's perspective. Right, I think we did last last episode too. Hell yeah. Trust her, bro. Trust her. Always believe in your mage. Especially when it's Frey Ren. Yeah. She's the one. No, she already knows what she's doing, bro. She already lit up. <laughs> she's good. Bro, what in the shooting star, bro? You can just pull that shit out like that. What the fuck? She got up and fucking fired in less than a second. <laughs> what a chat, dude. Oh my God, the music too. You guys are so fucking adorable. You guys are so cute. Keep sleeping. She was that tired. She's like, no, nah, I gotta keep sleeping. <laughs> you should join the party. Ha older attractive woman yeah literally he's in space right now <laughs> bro he's in space <laughs> literally if it wasn't for sign it was over bro dog joined the party at a perfect time a crucial spot <laughs> bro she's gonna keep patting his head that's so funny i love the role reversal i love it Vorig. Okay. Th Thank you. Holy shit. We got to see it on the map, bro. How many times? Oh, let's go. I love it when they do that shit. Oh my god, don't tell me it's the part time job arc. Dude, he's not for sale. Oh, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> Yes, actually. If you let us stay there, yes. Oh, she knows him? <laughs> okay. So she figured that out. That's... That's fire. Yeah. Bro, you're about to have a conversation with her in a hot second. Yeah. You can't have him, bro. You cannot have him. You can pay all of us. No, hold on. Wait, Freyren. Hold on. We're poor. <laughs> we have... <laughs> we have six copper, dude. Oh, that's all of our money. 
<laughs> I guess we can hear you out. Yeah, very true. Where, I'm from wherever you want me to be. Ha ha. Anyway, where's my money? Oh shit, are they related? Fuck off. He looks a lot like his brother too. Oh, dude, you're not getting a new you're not getting a new son, bro. That's just not how that's working. Yeah. Oh, I understand, bro. It sucks to have your son die, but you can't replace him with fucking this dude. Like you can't replace him with Stark. Like Sorry. Okay. So yeah. Cover up the son's death. Fake it for a little while. Ten gold coins. Oh shit. <laughs> Throw in a grimoire. Oh. Deal. Yes, you can. You you got it in the battle. Yeah. You got it in the battle. It's fine. This is actually... This is great. This is great. This works great. I can't believe that this is the arc. This is literally the part-time job arc. This is great, though, kind of. I mean, I'm okay with it. Stark's gonna come out of this a better man, maybe. Damn! Yo, they're... <laughs> To be fair, they're going to live the life for like a good three-ish, maybe more months. So, I mean, you can't complain that much. Huh? <laughs> oh my god, I thought they were going to be adorable about something again. Fuck, you guys just bamboozled me considering the last episode. <laughs> Fuck. Listen, he's gotta be cold, bro. That's how they do it. Is it actually? Huh? What happened to Double? Oh, yeah. I mean, you'd rather have your fucking son, bro. Oh, man. This is pain. I feel bad for this dude. Was his son's choice partially to do this? Like, what the shit? He'll get better. He'll get better. It's fine. Stark, you can help him, bro. Go turn around and be that brother. Be the brother your brother was. <laughs> oh, he feels like he's back in... Back in the past. But does he know? If he uh, if he says this isn't your village, does he know? Oh. Oh, alright, he is a better person. Let's go, he's a better person than your fucking dad. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, look at you, bro. You're, you're slamming donuts down. Yeah, you're going with your boyfriend, dog. <laughs> hey, that's that's nice. You look you look good eating that donut. No, this is gonna be fucking adorable. Oh my god, look at her, look at her, <laughs> dude. I love this. I love this so much. This is such a random ass thing to be happening right now in this show, but God, do I love it. Yeah, welcome to his fucking world. He did that three times that. Yeah, he can't talk shit now, idiot. <laughs> oh, my sweet boy. Look at him. Oh, he's my sweet boy. Oh, power couple of the fucking century. Oh, they're so fucking cute. Wow, he looks so fancy. She's like, oh shit, he looks so good. Oh, all that training, bro. All that work paid off. He really looks like a fucking strapping young, young lad. This dude probably is crushed inside, by the way, now. He's like, oh, my son could be alive for this, and he's not. Fuck. 
Oh my god, you two get fucking married already about it. Jesus. Oh my god, look at her fucking hair. Ha! Ray looks so good. So does he, to be honest, but he just really let his hair down, and that's about it. <laughs> what, put his hair down already? Yeah. What happened? So he's gonna say something. What does he? What does he want to say? Oh. Oh, jeez. I think he gets that. Except you could come back here. That's a cool. This, this, that is this conversation. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Damn. Holy shit. That sucks. No. Oh, you gotta go back and say. Well, I mean, if he's still alive. I hope Eisen's still alive. But. It'd be worse if he goes back and he's not alive. He's just tired. <laughs> Please. Oh my god, come on, pick something. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sweet. What's happening? So adorable. Her friends. Her new homies. What in the fuck is this? Huh? I was half expecting, you know, the ending credits to come up. I guess not. Not this episode. Um, that scared me, though. That last part. I don't know if maybe there's some shit that's going down or what. Um, but I will say this. It felt like that episode was a nice little cap of kind of the first part of their adventure you know they've reached the cap of their their party they, they've reached a place where they're kind of comfortable money wise they don't have to worry about things for a little bit um because of this job we kind of have now the relationship of fern and stark a little tighter it's more obvious obviously it, it's already kind of been hinted at here and there but it is for sure like Look at them, look at them being so cute together. Like they were on a date kind of because they had to be, we're paying them, but also you could tell both of them were enjoying it. <laughs> they enjoy each other's company, obviously. And I'm sure at some point they're gonna not wanna make the mistake that Frey Red made um, and, and be happy together. But uh, it does feel like next episode, especially after that, I don't, I never really finished an episode. I got I listened to the um, credits before, but I never got to the, the end of like the next episode thing. So I don't know if that did it every time, but that was very like foreboding. Like I'm worried about whatever's going to happen next. I hope nothing happens to any of them because they're all really good characters. But pain, pain, I'm used to pain. I'm used to getting hurt after just watching some, some crazy shit on Iron Blooded Orphans. I'm ready to get hurt. I don't want to get hurt, but I'm ready to get hurt. But other than that, I mean, it was a very sweet episode. Everyone kind of relaxing for a little bit, finally kind of getting a break, you know, especially after such a tense battle. I uh, tense battle that Fre uh, Fern and Stark couldn't even be a part of Bray Run barely, but she is just so good at what she does. She can already assess the situation before anything happens. So I understand that on her end. She just she can fucking do it and she doesn't have to worry about it. She knows she can do it, just trust her words. So that break was definitely well-deserved. I cannot wait for the next episode because it sounds like they might be reaching their next arc, the next point of potentially no return or next real villain of the story. We know the demons are the bad guys, but we obviously haven't seen a whole ton of them other than the three main ones that we fought earlier. We could run into some more. We could run into somebody trying to be a demon king now. It has been a little bit 
since the Demon King was defeated. So there could be still people trying to be that, you know? I have no idea, but I'm sure we're going to find out in the next episode. So please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. away you know every time I post Ray Ren. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.